So here we have a problem where we want to compare. Um, if we have two people investing $90,000 into an account where one pays um, interest compounded annually and the other is simple interest, what the difference is going to be. And if we, if we think about simple interest, simple interest, the difference between simple interest and compound interest, simple interest only pays interest based on the original amount deposited. Whereas compound interest takes into account the interest earned and has a new starting amount each year. So we would look here um, at two different formulas. Simple interest, our formula is the interest can be figured out by multiplying the original principal times the rate and then times the time. All right, so the interest is the interest earned is going to be the original amount or the original principal times the rate or the interest rate times the time. Whereas our compound interest, the amount is a function with relation to time and it is going to be the original principal but it is going to be multiplied by one plus the rate raised to the exponent of time. So let's look at what that looks like. If we have $90,000, that's our original investment. So if I want to know with Latoya's simple interest, I want to know how much interest she's going to earn each year. Well, with simple interest, the interest is going to be the same because it does not take into account interest earned, only the initial amount. So my interest is going to be equal to my $90,000 starting times my rate, which is 3%. And if I uh, express that as a decimal, it's going to be 0 0.03. And then that is multiplied by the number of years. Well, let's just do each year. One year is going to be 1. And let's compare that. Okay. So after one, after one year, we have 90,000 times 0 0.03 times 1, which is going to be equal to 2,700. So 2,700 is going to be the amount that she earns after one year of interest. Now the problem with simple interest is the next year, we don't take into consideration the new amount she has in her account. Because the new amount, if we add it to the principal, is going to be 92700 That's how much she'll have in her account. Well, the interest is always going to be on the amount deposited. So we can go ahead and fill in that she's going to earn $2,700 each year. Well, let's look at how it changes when we consider compounding. Compounding means that you do take into consideration the new amount. So after the first year, the interest should be the same. However, after that, the interest should change. So the amount with relation to the time is going to be equal to my starting amount of 90,000 times 1 plus my rate, which is 0 0.03, raised to the time of 1. So this is going to be equal to 90,000 times 1 plus 0 0.03 is 1.03 .03. raised to the first power is just itself here. So this is equal to 92,700. Now you see the difference with working with these two formulas. This gives you the total amount in the account or at the end of the year whereas this one just gives you the interest and you would have to add the interest to the starting amount. So we see that the 2,700 is the same. So after one year, 2,700 is the same. However, where it changes is after the second year, the second year, we have to consider the new starting amount. So we would, our starting amount would now be, and I'll write it right here, the amount on the second year would be 92,700 and that's going to be multiplied by our same interest, 
that is going to be equal to 95,481. Now, if we want to see the difference, we would subtract 92,700 from 95,481, which gives us a difference of 2,781. So notice that there was an $81 increase when we considered the interest as we compound it, um, if, as we compound it rather than a simple interest. If we're to do that again, and we consider the new amount, well, 95,481 times my 1.03 is going to be equal to 98,345.43. And then when we subtract our 95,481 from this, we get a difference of 2,000. 864.43. So you notice that as the years go, um, go up, the amount that Boris is earning also goes up. At the, at the second year, it was only a difference of 81, but now we have a difference of 164, and it will continue to go up and um, increase and, and create a bigger separation here. Uh, as a matter of fact, we could have gotten this answer here, by just plugging in the number three here for time. If we wanted to know how much was going to be in the account after three years, we would have just plugged in three for our exponent and gotten the same thing. But I wanted to do it separately so you could see how it changes each year.